This is Ian Smart, a long-standing member of the Labour Party, and he was the president of the Law Society of Scotland between 2009 and 2010. And he's a fairly prominent blogger and tweeter. In the last few days, something quite unbelievable, something quite frightening happened. This former Law Society president, as well as a former First Minister, no less, found themselves defending what was arguably one of the most defamatory, unfounded, downright racist comments yet to be punted by the anti-independence camp. And just to warn viewers, they might find the content of the following tweet somewhat offensive. Now, apart from the obvious and quite frankly disgusting racist language, the main thrust of this tweet is essentially a slur on all Scots, regardless of their opinion on independence, yes or no. He's basically saying we're all racist. Presumably, he's logically counting himself amongst those ranks too. As you can imagine, a number of people questioned what he said, and many demanded an apology. But Ian didn't think an apology was necessary. In fact, he went on to argue that complaints about his use of racist language were, in fact, proof of racism amongst independent supporters, a claim for which there is absolutely no evidence. Here's what he said. It's really interesting when you touch the racist nerve in cyber nattery. At this point, you might think that Mr. Smart just forgot what he originally wrote. And for those that have either forgotten or purposefully blanked out, here it is again. So despite a swathe of complaints, he didn't seem to think that an apology was in order. It was time for someone with a bit of clout to step up to the plate. A fellow party member, perhaps. A former first minister. A pillar of the realm. Yes, the man most famous for two things. One, supporting the war in Iraq. And two, wearing a pinstripe skirt. There's no sporran, it's a skirt. Jack McConnell, sorry, Lord Jack McConnell, attempted to bring a bit of sense to the debate. Unfortunately, he just descended into name-calling, saying that the people complaining about Ian Smart's use of racist language needed to grow up and get a life. Then he went on to characterise the whole thing as actually being an example of racism amongst supporters of Scottish independence, just as Ian Smart had done before. I find the pack-hunting, offensive, aggressive behaviour of cybernats deeply depressing. Needs challenged. Just in case anyone doesn't know, cybernat is a derogatory term used by anti-independence campaigners to refer to pretty much anyone with an internet connection that supports independence. The purpose of the word is to characterise all pro-independence chat online as the work of some inhuman army of crazy monsters who actually, you know, the Scotsman provided a helpful artist's impression. This is bad and it needs to stop now. If we're going to have a proper debate, the No campaign have to stop demonising their opponents to the extent that they won't even engage in debate with us. How bad have things got when a former First Minister, a Lord no less, will happily go on the record in support of racist language and insinuations of ingrained racism amongst the entire Scottish population? McConnell, smart, the lot of you. Behave yourselves. We want an open, honest debate, free from innuendo and name-calling. Is that too much to ask?